What's up guys, welcome back to another TM Academy video. Today we're taking a look at Great Tusk EX, one of the newest EX Pokemon from Paldea and Fates. Um, it's got a lot going for it. Its HP is 250, really high. It's an ancient Pokemon. Um, its attack is 4 energy, but it does 260. Um, and it has the Shred ability. I think that's uh, how people call it, Shred. Um, it gets through the Mimikyu that lets uh, stops the EXs from attacking it. It's got a lot going on. But the only downside is its ability, Quaking Demolition. If it's in the active at the end of your turn, you have to discard the top five cards of your deck. Well, not beneficial, but we have ways to get around that. We run four Path to the Peak. That's how you shut that ability off. Along with the Great Tusk, we run three Klefki. Um, helps with the early setup and shut off your uh, opponent's uh, Comfies, other basic Pokemon abilities. So we'll throw him in the active. Um, but we also got the Forest Boys. We got Bidoof, Beberil. We got two two of those. And then one Squovit uh, to help combo with that. Um... One of the biggest part of this deck is it's tough to get that four energy, so you want to leave that Klefki in and then start turbo energizing. Uh, we run three of these and we get those off of our four Arvins. That's what we used to get the uh, DMs going on pretty early. Sorry if I sound congested, I am. Uh, but we're going to power through. We got two bosses, four Ionos to finish out our supporter line. And then our items, we have a couple one ofs to, that we can grab off of Arvin. You got Counter Catcher, Battle VIP Pass if you're going second. Um, that's a great play. The Syrian Heavy Ball. Um, of course, some other tools. We got Devolution. We run three of those booster energies to get us to a whopping 310 HP. Really hard for your opponent to knock out after that. Of course, four Path. Um, four Nest Ball, three Ultra Ball, three Switch. And then a blend of energy. We got seven basic fighting energy. So we can always be hitting off Turbo Energize. Four Double Turbo Energy and two Jet Energies. They, count. they help for uh, extra switching and they also give you that last energy you might so uh, this deck's been a lot of fun uh, i enjoyed uh taking it into the ladder recently um it's not like the most broken deck but for a regular ex you can pull them out day and fates it's pretty good so uh check out the the battles after this and uh, let me know what you think in the comments later dude i wish we could play with post rotation cards I want to go first yes actually i don't know do you want to go first with this deck i guess it doesn't matter too much um man do we want tusk in the active i think i think we put both in the active we'll bench the tusk bench bidoof Okay. Well, they might be onto something similar here. So he's turning his own off. Maybe I don't need to be in a rush to do that. Yeah. I think I'm killing. I don't want to get rid of that much energy right now. His next turn, I can get rid of one energy and another card. Okay. That's annoying. How do we beat Mimikyu with this deck? Oh, wait. We do. We just get through it anyways. Great Bash uh, gets straight through Mimikyu. Um, we might be chilling. This is going to be a tough match, though. Huh. I think I need to start swinging like ASAP. Okay. I think I'm cool with just putting up Tusk. Like we're not attacking this turn, but we're doing okay. Kind of like the position we're in. Not that bad. Cause yeah, great bash gets straight through Mimikyu. 
because of the uh, this attack's damage isn't affected by any effects of your opponent's Pokemon. So we're going to swing right through that safeguard. Hello, Monkey X3. What's up, babe? Okay, so our opponent decided to get the Alakazam out of the deck. We're just going to Iono him anyways. So that's okay with us. Boss, we don't need it. We're just going to get rid of... We're going to get rid of it. We'll get rid of one energy. And boss. Go ahead and get the barrel. We are weak to Psychic, but I don't know if Alakazam's attack... When it attacks from the bench has a uh, weakness on it. We'll see. TM Devo might come in helpful this match. Uh, yeah, we want a path. I don't think we want any of the rest of these cards. A little bit. Okay. A barrel. Isn't too bad. Another tusk. I don't think Klefki's going to do anything for us in this match, but we'll do the second bit if... And then we pass. Not too bad. I think it's another Alakazam, or uh, another Klefki. Not the Alakazam, though. Maybe he'll get off this one. Another Abra, okay. We might be doing pretty good. <laughs> Researching. He has the Alakazam. Uh, no, no rare candy. <laughs> Looking for another Kazam. Nope. On the bottom. We might be sitting pretty. Uh, I need to read Alakazam. Yeah. So he still has to two shot us. Which is nice. Um, do I nest stash and hope I rip it off the bottom? Or hope I just get a regular fighting energy? I don't know if I do. I think I just put this on here. This 240 doesn't kill anything. It, like, it doesn't matter. We're going to do this. Um, and then we'll mess dash. Another Klefki. All five more cards. Or four more. Yeah, we would have got the energy. Um, I don't think I even... <laughs> I don't think I even Iono or Arvin here. His hand's not like anything crazy. I guess I can Arvin this turn. I can get some value out of it. Um, I'll go ahead and keep the Devo in hand for now. Um, no Ultra Ball or anything to get rid of the Battle Vip. I'll just grab a Switch in case he tries to like boss install or something. But we can start swinging. Right through that Mimikyu. Safeguard does not help him at all. Uh, he should have left a Klefki in the active. It looks like he runs Zatu as well. What's the Klefki now? I'd really like to boss this turn. If he doesn't get more energy set up. Because... Uh, he does go for the boss, but he saw me grab the switch. Not the craziest play. I'll have a jet energy in hand. Okay, yeah, we're just going to keep swinging then. Um, go ahead and just switch. Let's attach a fighting energy to this guy. I don't think we need to do anything else right now. Swing it.
I think that's something we do have to be a little bit worried about in this matchup is getting bossed. But we still have another switch from the two Jet energies. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> There's another Mimikyu. We're just going to go right through that. Another path for later. Um... I kind of want a nest stash because we don't need any of these cards. And I want to get to another Arvin. Nice. Okay, there's some more energy. That'll help us get the next one set up. Um, I don't think I need to Arvin right now. Save it for later. But I can great bash. We're just going to keep running into his mons until we we win. Another path. Path doesn't mess with any of his by Alakazam. No. I think he just wants to use Mind Jack. Because I have a lot of guys in the mid. Wow, nothing. Nothing from opponent here. Let's rip the, the heavy ball. See what's in here. Iono energy. Okay. Attach another energy here. Um I think I'll nest ball to just get it out of my hand. Go ahead and draw two more. Feel like kitty. Uh and we're kind of chilling with these cards. I could boss up the Zatu because that might be his way to getting closer to something. Let's see what we get off Poke here. Iono, okay. Yeah, we don't, we don't want, we don't want to draw that. One ninety, okay. All right. Another Iono. Go run is paid. Oh yeah, brother. Knock the hell out of the mic. Dude, we're stomping an Alakazam deck. He's just not seeing anything he needs. He's got Colrus now, so maybe rare candy is an option. Okay. Okay. Got Ultra Ball. That means he's probably got it. I've got to go to a meeting. I'll be back if you're still on one of them. Okay. I'll probably be on for a little bit. Gets the Kazam. We're rear canning. Onto the active. Okay. There we go. So we are, we're dead. Uh, 90 plus. Yeah. I got too many guys on the bench here. A little spooky. So that's, let me think here. Let us call it. Uh, we're not ioning for sure. Or maybe we can get rid of a path. I don't think we need a path. Um, get a barrel. I want the TM. I want Devo. Uh, let's get Nest Ball. Get that out of there. We're definitely going to use TM Devo. Because he's down two rare candies. Opponents benched, and that will get us where we can survive one hit. Hmm. Okay. We're using that ball. What the deck do? All right, give me a second. Let me let me use this nest stash first. Ooh. 
Oof. Maybe I should have grabbed the energy or attached the jet energy. We got five energy in there. There's no way we whiff an energy again. There's no way, right? I did it to myself. We did. Um. No. Come on, an energy. Okay. Whew, that was almost bad. So what the deck do is a big guy swing for a lot of damage. That's it. Uh, that's 260 damage for four energy. It gets through like Mimikyu and stuff like that. Does have another rare candy. Does he have boss in hand? His ability is it discards the top five cards of your deck after your turn ends. Um, that's why you run four path to shut off your own ability. It's not helpful to you at all. Uh, we've seen one boss in one counter catcher. We're scared of another boss here. Okay. Iono, he's digging for counter catcher. Well, there's mine. So if he doesn't get counter catcher, we're not in a terrible position. Okay. Can't bench any other Pokemon now. We need an energy again. I think we're I think we're chilling. Um I think I own us both. So he'll go to three. I'll go to two. All right, there's an energy. Get rid of this turbo energize, and let's catch the jet energy. And I've only seen one boss, so I think that's my other win con is just getting boss. Is that pot helmet or charm? Neither. It's the um. Ancient booster. It gives your ancient Pokemon 60 more HP. Alright. So let's just hope that he doesn't run band or anything else that helps him do more damage. And let's hope we can get to boss next turn. Okay, Super Rod doesn't do anything crazy. <laughs> might be chilling this is not a matchup we should be winning but okay chorus means he's not playing boss honestly echoing horn would be kind of spooky but i don't think he's playing anything like that i think the only thing we're worried about is counter catcher but we have the jet energy in hand i'm feeling pretty good <laughs> all right we're still drawing Two more cards He's got no cards left in his deck. Crazy. It's over for homie. His best move is retreat and hope I don't have boss. Yep. I mean, do I just take the knockout? No, I have to knock out. Damn, that's right. Alright, so we need to get rid of as many cards in my hand as possible. We got a switch. Attach the jet energy. Alright, hope we draw it. There it is. GG. Dude, that was tough. It getting hit for weakness sucks. There's two prizes. Um, would we? Let me see my hand. Could we have thinned down? We could have thinned down like one more card. So we barely didn't have it there. This could be worse for me. But we're actually we're in a good spot here. 
Especially because I think you're going first. <laughs> okay. Oops. What are you getting to? Two? Hmm. Two energy? Okay. All right, what do we want to do here? Okay. Not bad. We want switch. Energize. Okay, follow me. VIP pass. Get you, get you. Attach that there. Attach that there. Ancient booster. On that guy. Which mischievous lock into the active. <laughs> and then we wait for the next turn to go get the barrel. And we want to turbo energize. So that's five. That means two of my fighting energy are prized. Not too bad. But we just need a double turbo to attack. Now our opponent here can't flower selecting because we have got cleft key in the active. The boss though. Not the Badoof, bro. Not the Doof. That's okay. We made our opponent have to use boss instead of Clovis this turn, though. Once again, sorry if I sound congested. It's because I am. Well, under the weather out here. Okay. Man, this artwork's so cool. I love that card. <laughs> no. Getting super close to pulling off a crayon punch. Would not be nice. Okay. This isn't the end of the world. That four with two cards in it. Oh, it'll be three. Okay. Let me think. Yeah, I might just turbo energize again. Might be, uh, ooh. We'll do that. We're gonna Arvin. Hmm. Go ahead and mess ball. Actually. No, nah, no, nah, we just, we energize for sure. How much energy? Just two. Not doing too bad. You don't look cooked. We need Iono pretty bad here. We don't have a path in play. Oh, gear from opponent. He's probably gonna see Corvus off that. Avery, that's not doing much. <laughs> Get some three more cards though. Needs an escape rope. <laughs> Is there four in there? There's three switch cards. Yeah. Uh, 
I got him in a bit of a, a pickle here. Thank you. Needed that. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. What do I feel like doing here? That's six. Is that four? Can you get six? Turn. Get four more. I think we could start cooking this man. Nice. Gonna retreat. And a big boy here. Counter catcher. Take two prizes. Catch that one there. Oh, great bash. Start taking some knockouts here. Okay. Hopefully public gear can help us see uh, Iona. I'm sure Spencer would like to see Iona too. What we send away there? One feet. One row. Okay. We're getting in a, at least cram punch territory again. Okay. Finally hit Colrus. Is that eight? No lost impact shenanigans here though. Or no Star Requiem. Stuff going on. <laughs> we are in uh, Mirage Gate territory though. What's our win con? I mean, there's a line. I mean, I guess we need to start getting another husk set up. Because you definitely need all three. No way you're just going for the lost impact here. You got the... You got the vacuum? Yeah, I guess you, you set up for a cram punch later. So cooked. I mean, you're cooked a little bit. I, it's not over. This feels like a tough matchup. But <laughs> I'm set up pretty good here. All right, Arvin or Iono. What are we getting with Arvin? Nothing right now. Let's get the Iono. I feel like I can't get rid of that yet. We're just gonna, I don't know. Okay. Good. That's what we like to see. I got Arvin for next turn. Can we just punch? We're in turning at scoop. I I don't know. I feel like your deck can come back. You can knock out with cram here. If you got a switch card. And then I need a way to deal with Tina after that. I don't know. There's there's ways to pull this out. Woof. Did you just Requiem me? For 30? 
Okay, maybe you're really cooked. <laughs> maybe I underestimated how cooked you really were. Yeah, let's go ahead and get Arvin. Um... Don't need energize. Let's get Ultra Ball. Don't think we're worried about Switch. What about Barrel. I mean, this game has been absolute trash for me. That's Tina, baby. It's Industrial Synthesizers for a few more. Okay. The last boy. Take that knockout. We're just outside, buddy. How are we looking on traders? We still got two boss somewhere. Somewhere in that deck. Roxanne, okay. Not too scared of Roxanne right now, because of course we got both well, Amber Barrel out. <laughs> what are you, what are y'all doing? I need to get some sip after this game. Okay. Sure. Okay. I think we just get rid of all those cards. I guess let's get him out of the deck. Okay. Some stuff there. Go ahead and attach the TTE there. The clef key out. We'll punch the cram. Okay. I think we got this locked up. Our opponent did have a pretty pretty rough rough game there. But I think clef key had helped a lot early on. Um, I don't know what we should do here. I don't think there's anything really. We needed to get Tina out last turn. Like Kitty. All right. And we'll great bash for that knockout. <laughs> that was atrocious. I'm sorry, bro. That's Tina. You're not going to catch me playing that deck. <laughs> yeah, don't play Tina, bro. <laughs> 